Hi everyone, we meet again to solve another math problem. Let's dive straight into the problem. Sally and Susan had an equal amount of money each. After Sally spent $15 and Susan spent $24, the ratio of Sally's money to Susan's money was 4 is to 3. How much money did each girl have at first? So in this case, initially they have given that Sally and Susan had an equal amount of money each. So that's a clear uh, point where we can start uh, solving the problem because we know that the relationship between Sally's money and Susan's money is given here. So let's say Sally's money is, we represent this Sally's money with this particular one box, then Susan will also have exactly the same uh, sized box because they have equal amounts of money. Then after Sally spent $15, so Sally is going to spend $15. Let's assume this is $15. I'm just randomly taking a guess and putting anything. You can, the size of this doesn't matter. You can actually make anything. So this is amount is spent by Sally. And Susan spent $24, which is greater than $15. So we can randomly select a size which is more than this. So this is going to be $24. So this is the amount of money that they have sent, uh, sorry, that they have spent. And after they spend this amount of money, the ratio of Sally's money to Susan's money was 4 is to 3. When it comes to ratio, we need to remember that if it is 4 is to 3, it's the simplest form and it we can directly assume that four units is Sally's money and three units is Susan's money. So the remaining money is this is what is left. And this Sally has four units which has to be in this area. So let's divide this equally into four units. So we have this here one, two, three, four units and Susan should have three units. So Susan has three units. And remember these units, because they are in a ratio, this four units, the unit size of each unit here will be the same as the unit size of uh, each unit here. So since the unit sizes are the same, we can easily compare them. Say one, two, three, four, and here is one, two, three. And remember, we have this is $24 and this is $15. <clears throat> From the diagram, we can easily deduce that 24 minus 15. The difference is one unit, right? So that one unit can be written as one unit plus $15. That is equal to $24 as you see here. So in this case, one unit will be 24 minus 15 and one unit is equal to 9. <coughs> one unit is equal to 9. And the question is, how much money did each girl have at first? So at first, they had equal amounts of money. So if we can find uh, the amount of money with Sally, that would give us the amount of money with each of them. So let's say Sally had how much money? Four units plus $15. So we represent that here. So Sally had one, two, three, four units plus $15. And we know what is the value of one unit, which is equal to nine. So four times nine is 36 plus 15, all right? So here four units, we are multiplying it with the value of each unit, which is nine, four times nine plus 15, which is 30, sorry, four times nine is 36 plus 15. So that comes to $51. Hope this was clear. Please uh, give me your feedback in the comments section. And if you liked it, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my videos if you want to see more. Next, we are going to solve this problem using algebra method. For the sake of those who skipped
the previous portion, I'm going to read this question once again. Sally and Susan had an equal amount of money each. After Sally spent $15 and Susan spent $24, the ratio of Sally's money to Susan's money was 4 is to 3. How much money did each girl have at first? So again, just exactly like what we did in the previous section, we start here because we know the relationship between Sally's money and Susan's money. Sally and Susan had an equal amount of money each. So let's start, write down Sally and Susan and we can assume that the amount of money Susan or Sally had is to be X. This step is not really necessary for this problem, but for the sake of completeness um, in solving uh, algebraic problems, we will assume that Sally had X and Susan also had X dollars. And these two are the same, so they had equal amounts of money. Now we go to the next step. After Sally spent, this X amount of money is made up of $15 that Sally spent and she has some more, right? She, Sally spent $15 and Susan spent $24 out of the X dollars. Now they still had some money left. That's why I've put a plus sign here. They had some money left and that money is related to each other in the ratio 4 is to 3. So when it comes to ratio, what it actually means is Sally is to Susan is equal to 4 is to 3 or Sally over Susan is equal to 4 over 3. So in this, if uh, Sally's got 4, Susan will have 3. This is the simplest form. What I mean by that is this represents the ratio and the actual value will be multiples of these. So it could be, let's say times 2 times 2. It could be 4 times 2 is 8, 3 times 2 is 6. So it could be 8 over 6, the actual money. Or 4 times 3 is 12, 3 times 3 is 9. So it could be 12 over 9 or it could be 4 times 4 is 16, 3 times 4 is 12. It could be 16 over 12. That is Sally could have $16 and Susan could have $20 and it can go on, right? The actual money we do not know, but what we know for sure is that it is going to be a multiple of a particular number, right? Four times a number and three times the same number. So in this case, we will assume that unknown quantity to be y here so sally's money over susan's money is equal to 4y over 3y in this case sally's money is equal to 4y susan's money is 3y that is how we uh, interpret this ratio here so in this case sally had 15 dollars plus 4y and susan had 24 dollars plus 3y so we have cracked the ratio mystery here. So now we know that Sally had this much amount of money and this is the money that she's left. But the total money that she had was this much. And this is the total amount of money with Susan. And this is equal to X and this is also equal to X, which means that this amount is equal to this amount. So let's uh, see this here, 15 plus 4y equals 24 plus 3y. We are writing the equality statement for these two. And as we always know, we want to bring uh, all the unknown variables to one side and the known to the other side. So if we bring 3y over here, it will be 4y minus 3y. Another way of looking at is when you have an equality symbol, you can multiply, divide, subtract, add this left-hand quantity, the entire left-hand quantity with some value. Then you, if you also do the same to the right-hand quantity, then the equality sign is not affected. So you, we can subtract both sides by 3y. So 4y minus 3y. Again, we can subtract both sides with 15. 
which would be minus 15 would go on here cancelled so that will be here 24 minus 15 so one way of doing it is just bringing them over here if it is plus 3y when it comes over here it becomes minus 3y this is plus 15 when it comes over here it becomes minus 15 the second way of looking at is okay y let's subtract both sides with 3y so both sides will have minus 3y here and here 3y and minus 3y will get cancelled off then we subtract both sides with 15 15 minus 15 gets cancelled off here here we are left with 24 minus 15 so 4y minus 3y is equal to y and 24 minus 15 is equal to 9 so now we know the value of y which is 9 dollars the question is how much money did each girl have at first so at first they had this amount of money because we are not going to go to x because we know the value of y and we look for something that has y in it so this 15 plus 4y is equal to x anyways or 24 plus 3y is equal to x and these two are equal so we can just arbitrarily arbitrarily take one of these values like for example we take sally money with sally is 15 plus 4y and we know that 4y is equal to 9 so it is 15 plus 4 times 9 4 times 9 is 36 plus 15 gives us 51 dollars so the amount of money with each of the girls at first is 51 dollars i hope this was clear and helpful if you found it helpful if you like this just click on the like button share it with your friends so it can reach more students who might need this and subscribe to my channel to get notifications on uh, content that i upload regularly if you have any feedbacks please put it down in the comment section that would really help me make more better videos thank you very much have a great day happy learning bye